care of my dinner. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. Can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Nope. Don't like the look of it. Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always that way, though, were you? You used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway. Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. Need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. I don't mind me. We can talk while you work. 
<laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. There better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. Uh, I want to do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? You're mean. Well, what about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. <sighs> All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hand. <clears throat> Stinks! <laughs> All right, I cleaned up your mess. Now go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Give me something. Anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words is all. Give me a quote and I'll leave you alone. I, you owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One time... You know I... what? I don't think you're anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this farm. It's your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Callaway said you were full of piss. He didn't say the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Since I clean this place up, figure I'm in my rights to... Go ahead and wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You did no! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Oh my. Calling all passengers for the next train. It's due soon. Alden, I need a word. Hello, you. What can I help you with? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight. Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. All right. Thank you. This is your train. Midnight Express, we call it. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, it won't take a moment. I just want to speak with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's saying... I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway. No one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Ah, oh, jeez. You there? Hello. You a bounty hunter? Not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that springs to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Oh. Those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Just go inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. You know what I can do? You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. 
whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now. Get them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. He's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Here. What were they like then? Them days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> I guess so. I'm gonna need to get a photograph of you if it ain't too much of a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Great. You, uh, stay there. I'll get this thing figured out. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay. I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Thank you, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Good luck. <laughs>
don't mean no harm. I just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. You in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. Huh. You ain't getting in here. <coughs> Put them away. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Hey, I'm looking for some fellers sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On the riverboat? Okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. There. This is the famous Grand Corrigan. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This is the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Theodore Levin, right? Why, yes. Who are you? You still writing that book? I'm still talking about it, which is probably the problem. Well, you gonna introduce yourself? It's best I don't give you too many details, but an old friend of mine asked me to give a list of old gunslingers you wanted looked up, and, well, they've been looked up. <laughs> yeah! Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. To be honest, things went a little differently. A lot of people got shot. I thought that was sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? The people I shot noticed? I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... If we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long Share as... the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well, especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this Grassney? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, 
It ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. Quite away with words. Oh, damn you, Zero Eleven. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Dem says I didn't. I, I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Sir, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. All right, all right. Well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, <laughs> no, 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 let's not. Now, come on. Who should we kill? You kill. Me. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Oh, no, you're drunk and you're bored. Yeah. You're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. Just sober up and start practicing, otherwise this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Excuse you. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. How long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. You ain't going out to look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Uh, yeah, probably would, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. The whole world is an integrated Come for the cantankerous old bastard yet, has they? Nope, but. But nothing. Eat your beans. Hey, hey. Thank God you came, son. I'm guessing you're Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. Okay, let's get you out of here. Oh, yes. Indeed, son. Uh... Hey! I knew someone would come for Grant. They seen you. Mr. Grant, it's really nothing. I'll explain while we ride. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? Oh, I was, before you got so short with me.
Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. This is it, down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would've if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, uh, I think that settles that, then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. These things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Calm down, who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. Now he's dead. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Now you got an ending to your book. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. Sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did, in the back, after he, mortally wounded, Slim Grant, fair and square. Yeah, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, <laughs> more or less, I guess. There's more? There's always folks out there that'll shoot you in the back. And then rewrite history. Oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Jim Milton. And no. That ain't my real name. 